Greetings, everybody, wherever you may be, and welcome again to Kuru, the home of the Aryan family, for today's live broadcast of the launch of the ATV. A big launch, an historic one for Europe's space program and for humans in space, Ariane going for the record books tonight with the heaviest and the most complex payload in its history, the automated transfer vehicle, the cargo ship to serve the astronauts on the International Space Station. Tonight, the English commentators are Joshua Jean-Paul and Alex Madembassi. And the French commentators are Thierry Bouvard and Franck Vasseur. You can follow our launch on our website www.arianspace.com. Everything A-OK -okay here at the Space Base tonight. We're getting underway with the first launch of the year, and it is a big one, 20 tons. But it's a big launch in many ways. We're going to tell you all about all of them in just a moment. But first, we want to introduce Alex Madembasi, one of the program directors from Ariane Space. Good evening. Good evening, Josh. Good evening to everyone, and welcome to Kourou for this uh, 181st Ariane flight and 37th Ariane 5 flight. Tonight's uh, launch in the f is the first of a kind, a new version of the Ariane 5, the dedicated ATV Ariane 5 ES. You can see Ariane waiting on the pad. Tonight, and to the left, the green status panels telling the story that everything is fine, we're on time, and we're on target. We're going to be uh, handling the commentary, Alex and I, for this historic launch for the next hour and 50 minutes or so. Lots coming up. To get us underway, over to Ariane Space Chairman and Chief Executive Jean-Yves Legal for some opening words. Bonsoir. Good evening. This is the first launch of the year for Ariane Space, and it's an extremely important one, since tonight we're going to deliver the ATV onto orbit. The ATV is important for Ariane Space and important for the entire European space sector, and for three reasons. First, tonight's launch is a strategic one. The ATV program was decided by government decision at the Toulouse Conference in 1995. Thirteen years later, after a very long process, we're going to launch it toward the International Space Station. Second, it's the first time that we're launching an Ariane 5 ES. The Ariane 5 ES version is like like the Ariane 5 ECA, adapted and dedicated to the strategic governmental launches like the ATV tonight and later on to other ATVs and to the Galileo constellation. The third reason this launch is important is that with it the Guyana Space Center joins a very exclusive club, the space centers which allow access to the International Space Station. Till now only Baikonur with Soyuz and the Progress cargo vehicle and Cape Canaveral with the shuttle have made up this club. But from today, Kourou joins them with the ATV, and when the shuttle ceases service, there will be Baikonur and Kourou with the ATV. So, as you can see, tonight's launch is very important for all of us. Tonight's will be a new flight phase. After liftoff, we'll have the EPC flight for 10 minutes and the EPS flight as usual, but then a ballistic phase will follow, and then a second ignition of the EPS will occur while it's flying over the southern hemisphere. ATV separation will occur after 66 minutes. But all these events will be explained to you, and we shall, of course, keep you informed step by step of everything that's going on. I'll now let you watch this Ariane 5 ES launch of the ATV. The, uh, air, a, the ATV bringing automatic docking system, which is a big milestone uh, for space exploration, we'll be hearing much more about that. But the first part of the broadcast, we want to set the scene, focus on the major players tonight, making it all possible. This is the Ariane Space Flight Directorate. Major players, the Flight Directorate is composed of the Ariane authorities, including, of course, Mr. Legal and the Ariane Space Senior Management, decision makers for delicate situations. Any decisions, right, on any unforeseen events will be taken here. You'll see these gentlemen on the telephones with Evry and other places. Mr. Michel Emar, and here's Mr. Michel, Jean-Michel Desobo, the uh, Ariane payload manager and the program director for the uh, ITV project. And Alex, when you're not up here in the booth broadcasting, this is where you are usually sitting, right? Absolutely. You miss it? Of course, I miss it a lot especially tonight. The ATV automated transfer vehicle, a new step for European space transportation, and another step for human space flight, a key tool. And the to new, and the the new spaceship for the International Space Station tonight. 
We're going to hear now from Jean-Jacques Dordain, the head of the European Space Agency, another major player, to find out about ESA's role in the ATV development. The ATV is the heaviest and most complex vehicle ever developed at ESA. The heaviest because at liftoff it weighs over 20 tons and is carrying 9 tons of cargo. The most complex because at one and the same time it's a launcher stage, a satellite when it's in free flight and a part of a manned infrastructure when it has stopped. It is a unique vehicle allowing for automatic rendezvous with the ISS, of which since the arrival of Columbus, ESA is now joint owner. To produce this complex vehicle, European Space Industry, led by EADS Astrium, has had to push back the frontiers of its expertise. It has been the result of cooperation of ESA's member states, but also with Russia, the United States, not forgetting Knes Kourou for the launch and Knes to lose for operations. At the outset, the ATV was of prime importance mainly to ESA, enabling us to pay our share of the common operating costs. Since then, however, it has evolved into a vital part of ISS activities and has thus become essential to all the partners. With the ATV, Europe is ideally placed for future exploration programs. There's Mr. Dordain. He's one of the uh, people keeping watch on the heaviest payload ever launched by Ariane. A big, uh, big night for Europe's space program, and it's three key players, ESA, Kness, and Ariane Space. Basically, they do more than this, but uh, the resume, ESA funding new programs and construction of the base here, Kness overseeing coordination of the space-based operation, and Ariane Space, of course, marketing and operating the launch services and the Ariane program. Yes, the key actors of the European Space Programme are all here tonight, and namely the European Space Agency, as you said, the CNES, Ariane Space, and the EADS Astrium. And it's worth saying that we're also very pleased and honored to welcome here tonight in Kourou the representatives of the U.S. Space Agency, NASA, and the Russian aerospace company, Energia Rocket Next Corporation. Next up, Yannick Descartes, the president of CNES. The CNES has played an important role in the development of this extremely complex space system, the ATV. The qualification authority for the Ariane 5 ES launcher for this mission is the CNES launcher director.